Okay, we've already covered squares and rectangles in prior videos. And in this video, we're going to get into what we call the odd shapes. Uh, this would be trapezoids or openings that have less than four or more than four sides. Uh, we're going to go back to our mock porch opening and we're going to set up with a five and then a six sided frame. Uh, the main point of the video, while well, we're going to show you how to screen these, the main point is going to be how to do the actual angles themselves and to set up the snap extrusions uh, within those openings. And once you see it demonstrated on both of the openings that we show, it's pretty much the same theory on all openings, no matter how many sides there are involved. And you should find it pretty simple. Now we've set up our mock opening with a fifth side. And believe it or not, this shape is actually pretty common in a lot of porches. Um, but as far as the snap extrusion goes, your corners are pretty much set up exactly as we've shown in other videos. And if you wanted to miter these, you could, but in this case, we're just gonna do the butt uh, connection. And where people tend to get confused is up top with the fifth side. And here you're gonna do the exact same thing you did in the other corners, except you're gonna angle the extrusion so everything fits together nicely. And of course, you're gonna leave your gaps as we've instructed prior. And screening this, we're going to buzz through it pretty quick because you can watch screening uh, in another video. But as far as screening goes, it's pretty much straightforward. You're going to do the top as you would any other opening first. And you'll see this done here. And then we move along to the bottom. Again, as we would with any other opening, top first, bottom second. And then our prime hand side. And last, our non-prime hand side. And we're not going to waste your time showing you how to trim this. You've seen this before, and that's pretty much straightforward. What we want to get into now is the finished corners uh, because people tend to get confused on with a butt corner how you uh, continue the spline through the intersection. But if you notice here, what you do is you take the spline and you end it at the uh, end of the extrusion and you jump the screen and then continue to spline on the next piece of snap. Now that's the same on all of the butt corners and on all of the angles. It's the exact same uh, method. Stop the spline, jump the screen, and continue on. There's no need to uh, route out for any other secondary channel. Now we've added another leg to create our six-sided opening. Where this uh, would be most common is a gable end on a porch. Uh, you'll run into a six-side. It won't look exactly like this, but pretty close. But again, we want to show you how we handle the angles, especially up top with a double angle so close together. And if you notice, uh, both sides, we actually overlap the extrusion differently on each side. Uh, you may have to go back to, to make note of it, but we did that just to show versatility of product. And again, we're not going to waste your time uh, going through the whole entire screening process, and so we'll buzz through it here. But we did want to show you that even with a shape like this, uh, the theory is still the same, top first, bottom second. See, we're down to the bottom now. Pull our attention, insert our spline, and full screening instructions. Uh, you can review those on your own on a second uh, video. If you go back to our YouTube page, you'll find that video. And again, prime hand side, then non prime hand side. And we're not going to go over the trimming or anything. We want to show the finished product with the jumping of the screen again on all of the joints. And you can see here, just like you showed before, you're going to end the spline on each snap extrusion and jump the screen, even up top on the smallest section here. Same theory. End the, end the spline and then jump the screen. Snap is a great product that moves fast and sells itself. If you would like to sell Snap in your store or through your business, or if you're interested in distributing Snap in Canada, contact our office. Thank you again for watching.